Hey guys, and I hope everybody's doing good. It's Joyce here, Shadow by Tarot with a little on ya, bringing you the Tarot Love Tea for the Zodiac sign of Cancer. Cancer in Love for February 2020. Let's get to it, guys. And I'm just getting all my little stuff together. So I hope you are all doing well. I am going to use here the Wild Unknown Tarot. And we're going to get started. If you guys would like a private reading for your situation, a reading catered strictly and only to you, okay, you can email me here at shadowbayutarot at gmail.com and we'll book that for you. Okay, and please keep in mind, guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Join my growing Bayou tribe. I get so excited when I say that, right? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, share my videos, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload a new video or go live here on YouTube. And yes, please join us for my live streams where I do the personal mini reads with tarot, with the pendulum, using super chat. So guys, it's a very quick and easy way to get quick answers on the spot with super chat. So please do join me when I go live. All right, guys, we're going to see what the most dominant love messages are for the zodiac sign of cancer. For February 2020, the zodiac sign of Cancer in love. For February 2020. And guys, keep in mind, these messages will not resonate with every Cancerian person out there. That is absolutely impossible. The messages I receive from Spirit are the most dominant messages that the frequency of spirit picks up the frequency of the most dominant energies of the Cancerians here. Okay, so, however, for most of you, whenever you watch this video, it is meant for you to hear. You take what resonates and you leave the rest behind, but you enjoy yourself here on Shadow Bayou. All right, guys. All right. The zodiac sign of Cancer. Cancer in love, love, love messages, spirit. The most dominant, the strongest love messages for the zodiac sign of Cancer in love. For February 2020, the most current messages of love, the near future. Messages in love for Cancer. The zodiac sign of cancer in love. All right, there we go. We have here. Wow, we have the seven of wands. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody's feeling like they need to stand their ground, protect themselves. We have maybe some people who want to rock the boat with a little conflict, uh, differences of opinion, ideas. But you're going to stand your ground, I feel, in this fire energy, Cancer. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's a little stubborn, however, action is being taken. Action is definitely being taken. Yes, yeah, somebody's definitely standing their ground. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Sevens are about taking action, but this is someone who feels like they have to defend or protect their situation, their self, their environment in this situation, okay? All right, we have the Four of Cups here. There's been some type of a disappointment. 
an offer. Mm, somebody's not seeing the divine gift that this is. This offer of love that was made. Hmm, somebody's questioning it or doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. We have the three of pentacles here. So as of now, we have three different elements here on the board. So it could be any sign that you're dealing with. However, the actions that some of you are taking, or this could be your person, Someone here is determined to build a solid foundation for continued growth. Someone here wants that stability in this relationship. They don't want it to stop there. Somebody made an offer that somebody's not satisfied with. It didn't come with the stability that they expect. Yeah, either you or your person, you're like, no, this is going to be solid or not at all. This is going to be me and you or that's it, you know, just me and you. <laughs> but the work is definitely going to be put in, I feel. We have the emperor. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to say, you know what, I'm going to show you what I really meant. I'm going to show you my intentions are true, that I love you, I want to marry you, I want to have a life with you, build a home, a family. I want all this with you. So that's going to be proven in this emperor energy, that this was not a fly-by-night offer, okay? This was an offer to plant the seeds for continued growth. <laughs> Excuse me. So someone did not communicate themselves very well. They did not communicate this offer very well because apparently for the majority of you, there's a big misunderstanding in the intentions. We have soulmate energy here in the two of cups. Yeah, this is all going to get started relatively soon, guys. Wow, wait, wait, wait. Don't flip out. Somebody's flipping out. <laughs> Look, it flipped. Oh, shit. I'm trying not to screw up all the, the deck, but this flipped out here, and that is, as you can plainly see, Well, we have the Six of Wands here. There is going to be victory due to communication. Somebody's got to re retract. Retract. Yeah. Because due to communication, somebody's got to retract and explain themselves better. Aries is here. A lot of Aries energy here. The star in Aquarius is here. So I'm dealing with a pair of twin flames for somebody. Definitely. Yeah, the communication needs to be had between these twin flames. And it will be. Straightening up this whole situation. This is a couple who is maybe at a distance, but they're not actually... Somebody here is not physically with their person. They have to come into their person. You have to be coupled. That's, the, that's what's going to happen. You both long for one another. Your souls long for one another. The communication is vital. Yep, the dream come true, the wish fulfillment, all that's about to happen. 
with your person there will be victory and there will be celebration of this coming together and we have judgment here that's that reconciliation that's about forgiveness and learning getting the straight on everything this is divinely guided divine timings been at play for this situation for this relationship the father of wands is the king of wands sagittarius energy someone here was a player in the past well they learned their little lesson huh they learned their little lesson and now they don't want any kind of misunderstanding at all we have justice hell yeah we have justice truth comes out the communication brings the balance and the validation verification from the person the horse's mouth here or I should say the cat's mouth that this is all real friend we getting married we're gonna sign some papers here at this courthouse or whatever and we getting the hell married boo so chill the fuck out <laughs> because it's happening okay okay we have the hangman yes yeah, somebody's seeing things from a whole different perspective a whole new light mm-hmm they ain't playing no shit nah eight of wands oh yeah there's your action there's your movement towards the goal this person is not wasting no time two of wands they were at a crossroads but that changed friend that changed and we have the seven of cups i feel like i'm grabbing two but i'm not okay we have the seven of cups here night and day day and night friend night and day day and night loving you thinking about you <coughs> night and day day and night missing their person some of you are in different countries because of the time lapse the time difference here look for one person is daytime, the other person is night. Distance, what I said, daughter of swords, which is the page, keeping an eye on that social media, text messages, emails. Here we go, friend. Cutting through the bullshit, though. Truth is coming out. Communication is being had. Oh, yes. This is coming together beautifully. One more off the top. Cool. We have the three of swords. Mm, somebody cheated in the past. We have the four following that three. Guess what? Somebody wisened up. Took a time out after that three of swords. They weren't. <laughs> when they lost you or you lost them, however it resonates. All that shit came to a screeching halt. We had a come to Jesus moment, boo. Come on, friend. All that shit was laid to rest, friend. Mm-mm. Laid to rest. Bye. And guess what else happened? Realizing O-M-G I-F-U-C-K'd up. And that's either you or the one you're dealing with. Air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius being the more dominant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With Sagittarius being more dominant. Aries is a little neck and neck with that, I must say. Yeah. Now those are the strongest energies. That does not mean that you, that the person you're dealing with, Cancer, is somebody of the... It could be an earth sign person you're dealing with. It could be any sign, okay? I am just communicating 
the energies of the reed, all right? Mm-hmm, but y'all, y'all gonna figure it out. No more misunderstandings. All the bullshit set aside. Cut out. Cut out the picture. Lay to rest. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> they know. Oh, they know. Somebody's going to get their ass beat. They know. <laughs> they know. All right. So, Cancer, we're going to look at the Romance Angels real quick. Pull from there. We're going to get whatever guided messages we need from the romance angels for the zodiac sign of cancer in love what are the guided messages for the zodiac sign of cancer in love new love baby a new person has stirred your romantic feelings really mm. Mm. If this is a new love for anyone out there, you had to have been a player in the past and tied it all up. Because I'm telling you, I'm really feeling a reconnect. I'm really feeling the reconnect. This is a new path and a new slate for an old love. New love meaning you're going to start all fresh and squeaky clean new with the same person, is really what I get. <coughs> Somebody's going to put the tail between the legs, toss the ego out the window because it didn't do you no good. You were them in the first place. Get you in trouble. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Whether this happens to be a brand new relationship, you could have been just friends in the past and they knew you was fucking around or they were fucking around, whatever, and your relationship takes a whole new level later on, okay? But I'm really getting a reconciliation and engagement is on the table for whoever this reading resonates for. Your love life is ascending to that higher level of commitment. Okay, let's hit the goddess oracle up. Love messages for the zodiac sign of cancer. Cancer in love. Guided messages, please, from the goddesses for the zodiac sign of cancer in love. Whole new page. I'm getting whole new page. Whole new page. Somebody's starting a whole new page with an older person, person from the past or a past life even, but this is a whole new storyline starting up for you and your significant other or for you and this new person. And I'm just throwing it out there to throw it, but I'm really feeling a reconnect, a reconnect. That's, oh, sorry. Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Stand loud and proud, my loves. Be you. Be who you are. Because your person loves you as you. Don't fake it till you make it. Bullshit. Be you. All right? That's who they're going to love, friend. You, not who you pretend to be. That shit never works. All right. Aim, leap of faith. Yes, indeed. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Jump in, guys. Safe to love. Take that leap of faith. Take a risk. Put your heart's desire into action. They saying, be you. Take action. Don't be shy. Do not be shy. You do not need to wait for a written invitation. Mm -mm. <coughs> <coughs> All right, guys. Thank you for your time. That was the reading for Cancer for February 2020. And let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you or not. What your thoughts and feelings about this reading? I want to know. And guys, thank you. Again, I need something to drink.
my throat is just ridiculous. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Join my Bayou Tribe, the only Bayou Tribe I want to admit on YouTube. And the original Tarot Love Tea is here at Shadow Bayou. Yes, indeed. Rolling it out the only way I can. I tell it like it is. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit, y'all. All right. Have a great night. Thank you all. I appreciate you. Much love. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.